you're going to have here is a contrast in terms of quarterback styles, Manning and Newton, um, the whole thing, the personalities in terms of how they celebrate, how they, how they engineer, and, you know, to me, if I hear all this uh, discussion about how smart uh, Peyton Manning is and how he's managing the game and all of this, and how athletic Cam Newton is, I, I'm going to have some problem with that because I think um, we really need to really change... Um, some of these announcers, you know, in terms of who are calling the game. You know, if you look at the problem with, with African-American quarterbacks, you know, they're saying, well, they can't be pocket passes and things like that. So Kevin Newton proved that's, that's dumb. But what happens is that usually that comes from the people who are calling the game who have been pocket passes, like Phil Simms and Troy Aikman. So, you know, they have a tendency of turning the public against certain athletes. So if you have the Super Bowl, listen to who's calling the game because if there's one thing that happens at the Super Bowl, you can make your reputation on one play, okay? One moment that everybody remembers, okay? And it can be a miscue or it can be something that's really great, you know? And But I feel what also is happening is the narrative that's being created out of these games. And what you're going to see in terms, if you look at this in terms of race, you know, it's Newton against Peyton Manning, even though there's all these other guys on the field. It's going to be Newton and Peyton Manning. I mean, uh, what's interesting, going into the Super Bowl, they both have a lot of commercials. You know, uh, Manning has more than Newton, but Newton is beginning to, to hold his own. And I think that's going to be a lot to do in terms of the marketing. <laughs> <laughs> 